Hey everyone, Emma here, and today we're learning about reflex actions. These are really important for our survival. Although the nervous system is very fast, there is something slowing it down. Synapses. If you look very carefully, you'll notice there is a tiny gap between these two neurons. This is called a synapse. Here is a zoomed in version of a synapse. As the electrical impulse reaches the end of one neuron, it causes chemical messengers, also known as neurotransmitters, to be released and diffuse across the gap. They attach to receptors on the next neuron. This causes a new electrical impulse to be triggered, and it will then travel across that neuron as well. The diffusion of the chemical messengers is slower than the electrical impulse. It's important to say that uh, the chemical messengers diffuse, not travel, across the synapse. And just a reminder, we don't call the impulse a message, we have to call it an electrical impulse. In certain situations, we need a very quick response. Here, the person is holding their hand close to the fire. Because they're too close, their hand will automatically pull away, without them even realizing that they're doing it. This is called a reflex action. It happens automatically and rapidly. It does not involve conscious parts of the brain. But the main steps are the same as other nervous system responses. Pause and see if you can name each part in this sequence. Okay, so we start with receptor cells, then the sensor neuron, the relay neuron, the motor neuron, the effectors, and finally, the response. If you need to recap this, go back to my nervous system video. Okay, so let's look at the, this example. The receptor cells here are going to trigger a response to the high temperature of the fire. This travels along the green sensory neuron, up to the spinal cord, and then to the relay neurons. But note that the relay neurons don't go all the way up to the brain. They're going to come straight back and connect to a motor neuron. And the effect is then that the muscles in the hand will contract, pulling the hand away from the danger. Reflex actions are important because they help protect an organism from harm. Many basic body functions are also reflex actions, like breathing. If the brain were consciously involved in these actions, you wouldn't be able to think about much else. All right, let's try some questions. Pause the video, give them a go, press play when you're ready. Describe how a synapse works. When an electrical impulse reaches the end of one neuron, chemical messengers are released into the synapse and diffuse across the gap. When they reach the receptors on the next neuron, they cause an electrical impulse to begin. What is a reflex action? A reflex action is an automatic and rapid response, not involving the conscious part of the brain. Write down the names of the three types of neuron that electrical impulses will travel through in the correct order after the receptor cells. Okay, so after receptor cells are the sensory neuron, then the relay neuron, and finally the motor neuron. Explain the main benefit of reflex actions. Well, since the conscious part of the brain is not involved, the response is much faster. This is important in harmful or dangerous situations. It protects us. How did you do? Test one of your own reflex actions. Just sit in a chair with your legs dangling off, then using the flat of your hand, hit the dip below your knee. And if you do it right, your leg will go boop. Next up is endocrine system, and click here if you find this useful. Thanks and bye.